Welcome to this demonstration on the out-of-the-box analytics available within SAP Business One. This demonstration will cover the following topics. Crystal reports, crystal and pervasive dashboards, key performance indicators via semantic layer, pervasive analytics, and advanced dashboard design. SAP Business One ships with several analytical capabilities ready for you to consume immediately. Already embedded within SAP Business One are several crystal reports. Let's have a look at an example of the monthly customer status report. By entering the appropriate parameters, I can quickly generate rich graphical reports with the crystal reports viewer. SAP Business One also gives you the possibility to create your own custom crystal reports. Crystal dashboards have also been embedded within SAP Business One and can be accessed via the dashboard widget. These dashboards are available out of the box and use the underlying SAP Business One data in real time. Pre-configured pervasive dashboards are also available out of the box. These pervasive dashboards are based on standard queries that have been pre-created within the semantic layer. In total, SAP Business One is shipped with 21 predefined dashboards for you to use immediately. Another great analytical feature of SAP Business One is the real-time key performance indicators available. SAP Business One pre-delivers 42 out-of-the-box KPIs. Based on the semantic layer, these KPIs display many different performance measurements to evaluate the success of the business across all functional areas, including finance, sales, purchasing, and stock. The pervasive analytics application within SAP Business One can be used to edit existing or create new dashboards, key performance indicators, as well as advanced dashboards. As an example, Let's create a very simple pervasive dashboard. Earlier within my query generator, I created a very simple query that selects certain records from the item master data table, OITM. Here I'm simply selecting the item code, description, on hand quantity, committed quantity, and on order quantity. Selecting the new dashboard option, I can select this saved query as the base data source of my dashboard. Happy with the output of my query, I can continue to the next step of creating the dashboard. The pervasive analytics cleverly separates the numeric or measures from the alphanumeric dimensions from within the query. It's now as easy as dragging and dropping these fields onto the dashboard canvas. Instantly, I am presented with a preview of the new dashboard. I can even create filters and parameters within my dashboard. I also have several chart types available within the dashboard canvas. Let's stick to the column chart. Selecting the save icon, I can now save this dashboard with an appropriate name. The saving of this dashboard will also make it immediately available within the widget gallery. Here I can simply select the dashboard to make it available within my cockpit. Let's continue with this dashboard to introduce you to the actions that can be triggered from within the dashboard itself. Here you can see by adding in an action I have several different types of actions available. Let's begin with the first action, open SAP Business One window. Here I give it a simple description such as open item master. The target window that I would like to open is the item master data. My link between the underlying data source query is the item code to the item number within the item master data table. Let's continue with the second action which is a trigger enterprise search and here we can simply give it another description such as search this item and again we're going to select the item code 
as the search criteria. Finally, let's add in the third action, which is to link this dashboard to an SAP Business One window, and we'll just call this Embedded Dashboard. Our target Business One window will be the Item Master Data, and again, we are linking the item code within our data source query to the item number within the Item Master Data table. Let's save this dashboard. Now within the dashboard widget, I'm able to embed this new dashboard into my Business One cockpit. Item balances. Immediately you can see the new item balances dashboard is available within the cockpit. And I can right click on any of these records to trigger the actions. So the first trigger would be to open the item master data and it has opened up the record that I've right clicked on. My third action was to embed the analytics inside the Business One item master data screen and there you can see that via the analytics side tab. By right clicking on another record within the dashboard I can trigger an enterprise search and in this example I have 413 resources that it's found with that specific item code. I can hover over the specific transaction types to view the preview of the lines within those documents and also by clicking on the layout button I'm able to view the transactions across Business One that have that specific item within. As an example, if we move to the purchase orders and we select only open purchase orders, I can quickly via a hyperlink open up the underlying Business One document. Within Pervasive Analytics, I am able to create advanced dashboards that allow me to create multiple pages of analytic content. In this example, let's create an advanced dashboard for an inventory overview. We'll give the dashboard a title and I can now add several pages within this advanced dashboard. We will create a sales page, a purchasing page, and finally finance page. Each of these pages can now hold specific analytics. So for the sales page we will go and add in our widgets and we can select a couple of sales relevant dashboards as well as key performance indicators. Moving back to my sales page, I can size my dashboards accordingly and move to the next page for purchasing. And here I can again, within my widget gallery, add purchase specific dashboards and key performance indicators. Again, within my purchasing page, I can resize my dashboards accordingly. Finally, let's move to the finance page and add in financial specific widgets related to inventory. Finally, on my finance page, I can resize my dashboards accordingly. And just to mention that every page can carry a filter such as date, item number, customer code, etc. Let's save this advanced dashboard and now 
I can move back to my pervasive analytics and add in a new action onto my item balances dashboard that will trigger my new advanced dashboard. So if we edit the item balances dashboard and add in the remaining action to open an advanced dashboard, we can give it a name such as inventory overview. and select the target advanced dashboard in our case inventory overview we don't have any data bindings so we will just click OK and save our dashboard and now within the business one cockpit I can right click on my dashboard and trigger the new advanced dashboard action as you can see, my advanced dashboard inventory overview has opened up with the three pages pertaining to sales, purchasing and finance. Many advanced dashboards and other actions can be assigned to the same underlying dashboard or key performance indicator. SAP Business One also offers the interactive analysis tool that allows you to create rich ad hoc analysis within a well-known and comfortable environment Microsoft Excel based on predefined or custom data models all fields within these data models will automatically be presented within a pivot table for immediate analysis as selections are made data will be published in real time within Microsoft Excel and also be presented graphically Several slice and dice scenarios are possible within the interactive analysis tool, making on the fly reporting and analysis a breeze. As you can see, SAP Business One offers a wide variety of analytical features, all available at the touch of a button. 